All right, guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing my oil change, my first oil change on my uh, 2020 Suzuki SV650. Uh, I just hit the 600 mile mark, so the manual says uh, got to do the first oil change at 600 miles so it can flush out all the, um, you know, all the debris and the, the metal trimmings and stuff that kind of gets in there. So, uh, Definitely the most important oil change is the uh, 600 mile mark. So I'll show you guys uh, what I'm going to be doing here. Show you what tools you need. Um, there's my tool set, but basically all you need is a 14 millimeter wrench, uh, some shop towels, oil pan. Here's my manual. Always read your manual. And here's the. Um, Here's the oil I'll be using. It's the 10W40 Suzuki uh, X Star brand. Let's open it in there. This is pretty cool. I ordered it from Amazon. I think it was like um, $49 or something like that. Uh, so it comes with uh, three quarts of oil. New oil filter and in here is the um, is the ring that goes on one of the bolts I'll show you how that works um, it's uh, what is it a crushed it's one of those ones that crushes so it um, stays tight when you put the bolt back in there I'll show you how that's done so that's basically all the tools that you need to get that you need to have so um, yeah I'm doing it in my garage. I don't have any lighting in here, so uh, hopefully the lighting is okay for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Um, let me see. I'll show you guys. Uh, 609 miles. So right there. 609. So time to do the oil change. So I'm going to run it for about five-ish minutes, get it warmed up. It's obviously definitely uh, easier to get the engine hot and to get the oil uh, hot to, um, to let it drain more properly. So yeah, you definitely want to run the, uh, the engine for about five minutes. I'm going to do that and then we'll get started. All right, so the bike is now nice and warmed up. Here's the oil filler cap. You're gonna wanna remove that. So some airflow gets in there and the oil uh, drains at a faster rate and smoother rate. Put that in a safe area. So then if you come down here, let me see if I can show you this nut right here is where the oil comes out so you're just going to put in your you're going to get your wrench you're going to untighten that and that's where the oil will drain so let's get started on that all right so get your wrench hopefully you guys can see this sorry i'm doing it one-handed so there's the bolt Ugh. And you basically just got to break it. And then you can unscrew it by hand. Now you gotta watch out. It's a pretty long bolt. And the oil's gonna be coming rushing out. So There we go. I got oil on my hand. But yeah, so let's clean that. And as you can see, it's coming out pretty good. Um, so 
let it drain and let me clean myself real quick all right so most of the oil came out it's still dripping a little bit um you basically want it to stop a little bit's always going to drip out so uh, i'm just going to let it drip out a little bit more you can see there's the nut and clean that off Give that a nice and if you can see I don't know if you can see it but on there right there is the uh, the crush cap so you're gonna want to take that off basically just get a um, flathead screwdriver and you can poke at it um, since I'm doing this with one hand I'm gonna have to do that probably off camera so but when I put the new one on I'll show you how to do that so but you basically just get that and just kind of pry it open it doesn't take much force man but you can just kind of get it open and then hopefully screw it off all right so as you can see there it is I finally got it basically I just took this and just pried it open all the way around the bolt it's not that hard it just takes a little bit of force and then take some pliers and i just grabbed it and brought it down and now you can just spin it off Let's see that just pops off like that spin it off I don't know how, you know, definitely look at your man and we'll see what kind of size your, uh, your motorcycle used, but I think this piece probably cost a dollar. So make sure you change it every time you do the oil change. All right. Over here, the oil is pretty much done dripping. You see it's dripping a little bit. Maybe give it another minute or two. All right, so it's still dripping. Uh, I'm gonna let it drip a little bit more, but now we can do the oil filter right here. And my recommendation, guys, I know a lot of people just do the oil if they have a pretty fairly new oil filter, they don't change that, but oil filters aren't that expensive. So whenever you change the oil, change the oil filter so the oil is still dripping just a little bit it's pretty much done now let's do the oil filter I had to get this adjustable oil filter wrench so you can do it by hand but it's pretty tough guys so um, and then the store I went to didn't have the right millimeter size but yeah just get the oil wrench and then this should just oh before we do that actually i saw a little hack so when you take the oil filter off you know the oil is going to be gushing everywhere so it's going to get all over this pipe right here so to prevent that and instead of having to get in there and clean it all you need to do is stick some tin foil in there so yeah so get some tin foil up there so that uh when you do pop this oil filter off you know the oil is going to be leaking all over the place so uh get some tin foil in there and that will prevent it from getting on the pipe so i mean you don't need the tin foil but if you don't want to clean you know get some degreaser or whatever and clean the pipe then just get some tin foil but now so yeah, and I got this adjustable wrench at Walmart. Um, I think it was like four, maybe five bucks. They didn't have the correct uh, oil filter wrench that I needed. So I um, just ended up getting this. Hopefully this works. It's the first time I've used it. But I guess you just get it on there. Make sure it's nice and tight. 
but you think that's pretty good. So, uh, maybe this thing, I'm sure it's easier with two hands, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot easier with two hands, but I just gotta keep adjusting it. There, I can almost get it by hand now, so. There's the oil, oil's coming out. dump that in there but yeah pretty cool and there's that and then you want to make sure you try to get as much oil out of there as you can so now get the drain plug right here clean that off make sure as you can see right here that little black piece up top there is the um, little magnet and it kind of collects all the sediment and stuff so clean that off pretty good like so and you know inspect the bolt make sure it's not damaged I mean, I mean this is a brand new bike so I would imagine that everything's fine and then you're gonna get the washer right here there's the old one so here's the new one this box came with two of them. This one's a little bigger one. That one doesn't fit, but here's the washer. As you can see, the crush washer. And I believe you put the, don't drop it, sorry. You put the, cone side up top first like that and just get that on there as you can see kind of like that All right and then come back over here oh let me clean So yeah, we're gonna reinstall the bolt. And just kind of clean this off like a little bit. Try to get as much dirt as you can off of there. And then reinstall it. Man, people don't tell you how hard it's it is to do stuff with um, one hand. <laughs> so 
So yeah, twist that off with your hand and get it all the way. It's tight. And then move that out of the way and now just tighten it. So if you have a torque wrench, use that, but if not, I don't have one. So you're gonna hear here, I'll try to be quiet, but you're gonna kind of hear it crush the uh, the washer, and that's what you want. There we go. And if you're doing it by hand, you're gonna wanna do it pretty tight, not overly tight, but definitely get it nice and solid. All right, that should be good. So now grab the new oil filter and I'm gonna take the plastic off so I guess there's two ways of uh, of doing this you can fill the oil filter with oil about halfway or so and then put it on there but uh, or you could put it on dry like I'm going to so and then when you do do that you're gonna have to start the bike and let it run for a minute so when you're putting the when you're adding the oil just to see how much you know let it run for a minute or two and then you know let the oil circulate throughout the engine um, and then you're gonna have to turn it off and probably refill it again all right so take your finger get your oil filter And so yeah, dump my finger in there, and you want to rub a little bit of oil around the seal there, around the gasket, and kind of lubricate, lubricate it. Maybe do a little bit more. Yeah, just give it a nice, you know, kind of get all over it. And that way it makes a better seal when you uh, put it on. That should be good. So I think that's pretty good. Let's just do a little bit more. You definitely want to get liberal with it. All right, that should be good. And then, and you make want to make sure you wipe this down. You know, get a paper towel and wipe that down. There we go. There, so yeah, it should when you get it on, it should just roll on and spin on nice and smooth. You don't have to do anything, and you spin it right until it stops, which is right there. Let me get a paper towel real quick because my hand's got oil all over it. And so once you get it and it clinks against the metal, you know, where you can't do it super easily, you can't turn it super easily. And then what I've always been taught is you wanna do about a three quarter of a turn and always do it with your hands. You don't need a wrench when you're putting it back on. So, 
So it's on there, and then I'm gonna do it with. Let's see. Oh wait, hold on. So I'm spinning it. There you go. So once it's on pretty tight, just uh, maybe give it another. You don't want to do too tight but get it on there nice and tight and then do and once you're kind of having a hard time turning it like that then you should be good remember do it i would do it by hand don't do it by wrench because you'll probably over tighten it if you do it with your hand then you can feel it see that should be good that should be perfect All right. All right, I moved the drain pan over here and then there's the oil. But now, grab your, let's see. So now you're gonna be adding, um, I got three quarts here, three quarts of oil. And uh, um, you're gonna be putting in about two and a half. Remember, since I did a dry oil filter, you're gonna put your put your oil drain in there, and then drain about two and a half quarts. So, here we go. So there's one bad boy right there. Okay. And then do another one. Right here. You can't really see the oil in this uh, red drain, but that's all right. Okay, that's two. So then on the third quart, like I said, you want to do about half. It's always easier to add more oil than it is to remove oil. So, and in the handbook, I think it says if you put a new oil filter on there, um, as I did, it takes about 2.9 quarts. So, I'm just going to kind of judge it by eye, but I'm going to put in roughly half. Let's see, maybe a little bit more. All right. Let's see, that's about half. Maybe a little more. Okay. Put the cap back on real quick. All right, so then, take this out, give it a nice little shake. Put that over here for now. Put the cap back on. Okay. And this window right here, let's see if I can show you. This is your oil gauge, so there's no dipstick. Um, but as you can see, there's two little markings right there. Right, there's the bottom, which is the minimum amount of oil that you want. And then there's a top marker which is the maximum amount of oil that you want. So, like I said, I put a brand new oil capsule. I'm gonna have to start the bike. Let's give that a whirl. So you start the bike and maybe run it for about a minute or so. 
And while you're doing that, while the bike is running, come down here and check the drain plug and the oil filter and make sure there's no leaks. So it's looking pretty good. Maybe come over here on the other side and check it out. pretty good so yeah run it for about one minute 60 seconds or so all right so I turned it off um, basically what the the oil is running circulating throughout the engine it's also filling up the uh, the oil cap right there so then to gauge it you have to stand the bike straight up so uh, let's see it's gonna be hard to do this with one hand let me try to figure this out all right so as you can see we've got a lot more oil to add so let's add it but since i don't want to drop the bike i'm gonna to have to uh turn off the video since i don't have a a uh a stand so but Let's remove this again. So just uh, do a little bit at a time, and like I said, it's a lot easier to uh, to uh, keep adding oil than to remove oil. So just do a little bit at a time. And so I filled up. I used most of this. I would say the oil. So I got what 300 millimeters left. So, and I got it just about perfect. So, put this back over here. Put the cap back on. And I'll show you guys real quick. And when you do an oil change, you don't need a, a jack or anything. You want you want it on the stand. The uh, manual even says so because it's easier to drain. You know, it's leaning this way and everything just flushes out. So keep it on the stand. Unless whatever bike you've got manual says otherwise. So. Basically you hold the, the bike level like so. Hold the brake so it doesn't move on you. And. As you can see, we are right in between those two lines. So it's literally perfect. Make sure the bike's level. Yeah, so look. I'm kind of looking at the screen because it's hard for me to. But yeah, we're right in between those two little hitches, as you can see on the left so yeah we're good so and then I got to remember that this is the one I'm gonna put this up here because this still has nice fresh oil in it but yeah real quick one final time so I was kind of cleaning up a little bit and yeah looks like we're pretty good looks like we're money and then one final thing you can do is just kind of double check make sure there's no leaks anywhere come over this side and yeah we are good all right guys that's pretty much it so Last thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you on camera, but dispose of your oil properly. You know, let's protect the environment as best as possible. And yeah, I'm going to clean up and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Any comments, questions, or concern, let me know. Got some more videos we are going to be doing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys are all enjoying yourselves and being safe out there. We'll see you next time.